Good evening everyone, welcome back to the Carter James Ranch. Wanted to give you some feedback. We've got these chicken tra or these uh, sheep tractors for the last week and we have been breaking the, sh uh, the ewes out, those three ewes, and then we've got our ram by himself. We've been rotating through our pasture here. I want to show you, so this is a honey locust tree. Starting to get real big thorns on it, but those sheep, they are awesome at just taking every leaf off of that. So they really, they really nail that. And uh, so far I've been real happy with how these tractors have worked. Obviously this kind of ground, I don't know if you can see, we've got kind of a high spot over here where the ram is and it dips down and then goes up again. These tractors will, will move through here. Sometimes they'll get high centered, but like right now we've got the ewes right here in the bottom here. And uh, on flat ground, we'll get six inches of clearance on the bottom. And here we've got a little, a little more than six inches of clearance. So it was funny the other day, the ram was on some uneven ground and I forgot to put up uh, Coda's little shade spot. So I came, came and Coda had actually gone underneath and had gotten up underneath the, the shade there. So, um, you know, I was a little nervous at first. I didn't know, n nervous is not the right word. I didn't know how the ram would respond to being isolated by himself, but he's in close proximity, so he's been fine. I also didn't know if Coda would get kind of squirrely with not having direct access to the sheep, but, uh, you know, Coda was in with the ram the other day. He was just kind of sitting in there, and, and he actually just sits over here. Um, I actually just bought this, brought this piece of plywood up over here and leaned it up against so Coda would have some shade outside. We actually typically, uh, we have his kennel that's sitting way over there and I just haven't brought it over here. I usually get his kennel so we can go in there and then I put that piece of plywood on top so he's got shade right in the middle of the day. He can go up underneath it, but uh, really, really pretty happy with how, how the tractors have uh, have operated. They're, they're simple to, to push. Um, you know, the only thing you gotta watch for is if you're on really uneven ground and at high centers, but you can, you can still push it and and then they're just move your move to a different side and, and push it. But moving it twice a day, especially these ewes, I moved the ewes twice a day and I just moved the ram along with it. But the ewes really uh, really hit this ground, uh, hit this grass, and they're they're grazing it pretty good. I do I do know a sheep. If you leave them in, leave them in one spot too long, they will take it down to nothing. But uh, real happy with um, what they're doing. I'm getting ready to move them into this area where we've got all of these little little bushes growing up and I know they'll they will just tag some of that they've already started eating it but they're doing a good job of nibbling everything down been noticing they have been going through quite a bit more mineral get them some more mineral and they've been they've been drinking down their five gallon bucket of, of water so um, we're not getting as great of grazing over here with the ram obviously this is this is more grass than what he can really nibble down in a day but I've kind of come to it that uh, I had said in my previous video when you look up Google they said a, a, a ewe lamb needs 15 square feet and that wasn't pasture I actually stated that wrong in the last video um, that's not of just pasture ground that's just of space like if you're housing them so they, they really do need more than that um, again I, I move this twice a day in the morning and at night pretty much when I feed Coda just so that we're not overgrazing, but you know this this pen would be great for you know probably probably four to four to six sheep. I guess you could probably have more of them in here, depending on how how good your grass is, and as long as you're as long as you keep them moving. But yeah, you wouldn't want to have you know six to or five to ten sheep in here for a day or two. I mean, they would just take everything down to to nothing. But um, you know, one thing I am disappointed in our pasture here. You see this plant right here? This is broom sedge. This is the poverty grass, and uh, in the fall it turns it turns kind of a, a brownish color, and it's kind of kind of pretty until you realize what it is, and that grows up where the fertility in your pasture is not very very good. It also grows up a lot in hay hay fields because all the nutrients are getting taken out. And over here we've got more. See, we want to get more of more of this with the with these seeds coming on. Now we can spread those, but you know we've got a bunch of broom sedge coming in over here. So um, what's interesting is we had run our meat birds actually right, 
right through here and actually a lot of where all this other all this other leafy stuff has come up we, we ran two batches of meat birds through right on this ridge and then down into this slope right down in here so that's interesting we we don't see as actually i don't see any broom sedge coming up in here but we do have we do have this stuff coming up now we've got the the sheep running through here i don't know if cattle would eat that but the sheep really really light that up so um so we've just been using this poultry netting this is actually sheep netting right here this is poultry netting just we've had a lot of poultry netting in the past so it's been working well with the sheep and with coda coda hasn't tried to get out he's not trying to get out he doesn't want to roam he's a pretty uh good dog um outside of playing with the sheep a little bit um Hey Coda, you know he is getting a lot more, a lot more friendly walking by me slower. At some point I'm going to be able to pet him. I just don't know when that day will be. I'm not pushing it too hard, but he's coming around. I've uploaded a couple shorts of him, kind of running around. He gets kind of excited. Um, yeah, he's he hangs out just over here with the sheep, and uh, seems like he's doing well. That's our ram. He's looking nice and healthy, looking thick. He's got a he's got a good sized scrotum on him. So I'm looking forward to he'll be he'll be in here. So here we are, September 1st. He'll be in here September, October, and so in November. So we'll turn him back in to the to the ewes December 1st. So hopefully we can get them pregnant and we'll be looking for lambs to come back May 1st. So we'll just keep moving them, moving them out the pasture on this flat ground here. Let them nibble it down, put down the fertility, and keep going. But the pasture is looking looking really well. We've had a little bit of rain, uh, a couple of rainstorms here and there, but the temperatures are definitely starting to cool. We're we're still getting up to about upper 80s, but yesterday morning we were 59 degrees in the morning. So it's definitely cooling off. We're getting good amounts of dew in the morning which will we'll take it so fall is fall is coming around the around the corner so uh just move them they they eat real aggressively when i first move them if you had five or six of them in here they'd be it'd be a it'd be a race for who's eating what so they're uh they're definitely well see i told you see that plant right there that plant right there they've already they've already nailed that and they'll take all those leaves off those stems so i need to find out what what little bush that is that's that's great great sheep feed but so far i'm really happy with uh with these sheep tractors they are proven to be uh a great tool um i'll probably need to set up some wind wind breaks as the as the temperature gets colder and if we if they're in here um we get any early snow here but Really happy with them. So again, we got these from the Sheep Tractor Company out of Waco, Texas. SheepTractor.com, and that's the latest on the on the small sheep herd. So thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to like the video, subscribe so you get notified when we get new videos dropped. I'll be doing a couple of upcoming videos. I'm gonna be taking a trip down to Texas to uh, to go visit another ranch. We might be getting some more cattle from a different ranch down in Texas. And I'll be heading back out to Sassafras Valley Ranch here in September to meet with Bruce Shanks. I'm going to be talking about getting a South Pole Bowl as we're going to be having some more, more heifers come uh, coming to the ranch this, this fall. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.